Hello, my lovely crafters. This is Crafty Sue 519, and welcome to Plushy Wednesday. So, I have a few makes for you today, several, and some I can't show you because I've already mailed them out to the people who have bought them. But I got a bag of yarn in the mail today that I ordered, and this is the yarn I've chosen to take the place of the Dollar Tree yarn once I run out of that. So let me just show you some colors. This is Parfait Chunky Yarn by the same company, Premier. That blue pretty, and this is called Cornflower. Isn't that pretty? Oh, what a pretty blue. Pretty, pretty blue. It's a little bit thicker than the Dollar Tree yarn, but not too much. And then I got this one, and it is called, if I can find it, Mango. Mango. And then I got a pale gray, because there's a sea turtle I want to make, and they show the body as gray on it. This is cream, because I can't find white. Even in this new yarn, they're out of it until August. Um, this is called Iris, a pretty darker purple than what I've been using from Dollar Tree. This is called Ballet Pink, very similar to the Dollar Tree Pink that I've been getting. I got a black. Now this is not to use with the Dollar Tree yarn. This is a little different, so, but very similar. This is what I will move on to. And um, I did buy a couple of these for a project I have to make for somebody because I couldn't find the colors at Dollar Tree. And this is the last one. And this is called Tangerine. Ooh, 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 love it. Oh, these are so nice. A lot more expensive than Dollar Tree, but very, very nice. So can't wait to start working with those. But... I love my Dollar Tree. Love my Dollar Tree. And I now have what I am calling my yarn warriors. And these are women. Last week, I mentioned I can't find colors at Dollar Tree anymore. And boy, I've been all around this area and just can't find them. So I put out a request to my subbies that if they happen to be in their Dollar Tree and they have a yarn section to look to see if they have any of the um, chenille yarns in particular colors. Well, I've had a wonderful reply to that. And these ladies are my yarn warriors. And I will do a separate video about my yarn warriors once I receive all the packages from them. But wow, what a turnout. What a turnout. I, I am just so impressed and oh, just touches my heart. Just touches my heart how kind and generous people are here on YouTube. It just amazes me. I don't know why I'm amazed. I should be used to it by now. But every time something kind like this happens, it just blows me away. And of course, I offered to... Um, pay for shipping and for the cost of the yarn since I'm the one who's going to be using it and some I will pay some I will not by their request and I'll tell you you you, you ladies are just too much just absolutely too much but just want to give a shout out to my yarn warriors you know who you are and um, I will be doing a separate video once I get all the packages in. So you can see how much Dollar Tree yarn they have found for me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I've been getting requests for turtles. And this little guy is sold already. Someone wanted a brown and blue turtle. So that one's done. And then somebody wanted a lime green and brown turtle. And I'm sitting there making it the other day, and I'm going, something's wrong with this. It's not the right size. Can you see the difference? How small this one came out. Ugh. 
Well, the person who does the tutorial for this particular turtle uses a very thick yarn, kind of like the yarn I used for the octopus, that big, big octopus. So she uses a much bigger hook. Would have been way too big for this, this Dollar Tree yarn. And I couldn't remember what size I used. Oh gosh. So finally got it together and I got a green and brown turtle made in this size. And it is flying to its new home as we speak, as we speak. Then I made my little piggy. How cute is this little pig? Oh my gosh, look at this curly cute tail. His little face. Isn't he cute? Well, he's not little. He's he's a good size. He's almost eight inches long. So he's he's a big one. He's a big piggy. <laughs> ah, I've been playing with names for him. Haven't come up with one yet. But I think he's or she is quite quite beautiful. So that's a new one this week. That one's sold already. And last night, I was just sitting there. Grumpy was in bed. I said, what can I make? Oh, well, I went a little cuckoo and started making my frogs in colors. I made a purple one. I made a yellow one. I made a blue one. <laughs> this teal color I can't find anywhere. And I made the mint green one. This one's a little funky. His eyes is a little funky. So I'll probably keep this one for myself. But that happens. That happens. So I made these four last night. They're not, they don't take me too long. I've got the pattern memorized in my head now. So I can just sit and grab some yarn and, and make it. And there we go. But a project I've wanted to try and finally got around to it. I put aside an order that I've been working on. It's, um, I got one more item to make for it that I will stop today, probably finish tomorrow and get it in the mail on Friday. So I'll probably do a photo of it and put it up on my Instagram um, Friday or Saturday so you can see what that was. It's, it's another cow, a cow that this pig and what was the third thing? What was the third thing? Cow, pig, something. I forget. I forget. I'd have to look at my list. So I really just wanted to give this a try because I thought it was adorable. And it's different than any of the others I've made. So here we go. Who is this? Who is this? Hello, kitty. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I didn't like the way the pattern was for the ruffle on the dress. So this is my ruffle. I did not follow the instructions for the ruffle. I made my own. But the rest is from the instructions. Little tail on the back. Looks like a bunny tail instead of a cat tail. But isn't she cute? Oh my gosh. I just had to try her. And this... I got new stuffing because I ran out of the first big bag I had. So I had to get another one and it's a different brand. And oh my gosh, if you could feel her head, how squishy it is. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. So those are my makes this week. Other than the ones that I've done for chicken. That's what the other thing is. It's a chicken. <laughs> um, so I've been busy. I've been busy, busy. Some of this yarn I just showed you is for a project that someone ordered. I couldn't get the yarns in Dollar Tree colors, so I ordered it in this new yarn. So that'll be the first time I work with that. I think everything will come out a little bit bigger than a Dollar Tree yarn because this is, feels a little thicker. A little bit, not a whole lot. They both say they're super bulky six, but not not sure not sure but we'll see when i use it so i'm excited to do that and i think that's it that's it i've had a busy week 
busy, busy week. Got lots of little goodies made. Oh, can't, don't these just make you smile? <laughs> just love these silly little frogs. Oh, they just crack me up. And I love my kitty. She came out so cute. And the little pig. Oh, he loves his kitty. <laughs> I'm losing it. It's been a crazy, crazy morning. So, hope you enjoy my makes for this week. I've been toying with the idea of doing this every other week because I get busy with orders and then I don't have time to make up extras. But, hey, I made these four guys last night, so I guess I can put together a few things. Anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Until next time, love yous. Bye.